let's see the type of music we can make using Super Mario. Let's import the thwomp sound. <laughs> this dude always sounds like he's having a rough day. Even though then again, if I had to live in Bowser's Castle for 40 years, I probably wouldn't be happy either. Let's crop the file. Good thing about this sound is I can tune it. That's the note we're going to be using. So let's try and make that E ring out for as long as possible. So now we get this. <laughs> let's cut off the high end. Thank you guys for 2,000 followers on Instagram. Let's export it. Let's crop the file and let's set the root key to E. Let's run it through an amp. It's a bass. Of course it's going through an amp. Let's add some reverb. Now we got a bass. Let's see the type of music we can make using an alarm clock. Let's import the alarm clock sound. Cut the clip so we're left with one beep. We see a pitch. Let's stretch it out. Here's the sound now. Thank you all for 1,100 followers on TikTok and 1,300 subscribers on YouTube. So now on the keyboard, the alarm clock sounds like this. Let's run it through a bass amp. Let's add a reverb plugin. And here's our bass. Let's see what type of music we can make using a squeaky toy. Let's import the squeaky toy. Let's crop the file. Since we can see the pitch on our graph here, we can just easily fix it. Let's cut off the high end a little bit. Let's export the file. Let's set the root key to G. Let's crop the sample. Let's turn up our volume. Let's add some reverb. Let's run this sound through an amp and turn up just the bass. And now we got a bass guitar. Let's see what type of music we can make using Yoda. Let's import the Yoda death sound. I see a pitch, so we can tune it. Let's stretch the audio. Now it sounds like this. Let's crop the file and fade it out so we're left with just that one note. Export the file, we shall. While we're on the subject of Star Wars, did you know that R2-D2 is the most profane character in TV history? They bleeped out everything he said. Let's crop the file and pitch it down an octave. On the keyboard, it sounds like this. Let's run it through a distortion plugin. Let's run it through an amp. Let's add some reverb. For my ally is reverb. And a powerful ally it is. And now an electric guitar we have. Let's see what type of music we can make using Skyrim. Let's import the dragon roar. Let's crop the file. Let's isolate the middle frequencies. Possibly make a drum kit out of this. Let's try something. Let's add a compressor. Let's turn input gain all the way up, threshold all the way down, ratio all the way up, and now we have this. Now we have that percussive attack that we want. That and my compressor's in tears. Let's isolate the low end for a kick. Thank you guys for continuing to support in this series. This is episode 80. And as usual, if you have a sound you want to try to make music out of, let me know in the comments. Let's pitch down the kick. It's going to sound like this. We're going to repeat the process with the snare. Let's add some reverb. Drum kit sounds like this. Let's see a tough instrument we can create using Legos. I bet y'all weren't expecting a new intro. Let's import the Lego sound. Let's crop the file so we're left with this sound. This is our kick sound. This is our hi-hat. And we're going to keep the snare as is. If you have a sound you want me to try to make music out of, let me know in the comments. I actually just opened up a subscriber page on Instagram if you want to subscribe to me. Let's pitch down the kick. That beat sounds like this. Let's crop the hi-hat. Let's pitch up the hi-hat. Here's the groove so far. Let's add a compressor and some reverb, and here's a drum kit. Let's see what type of music we can make using a pull cue. Let's import the pull cue. I can already tell that this is going to have good kick drum properties. There's a sense I never thought I'd say. Let's import the sound of the pool ball. Let's export both the sounds. I forgot to EQ the sounds. That's how long it's been since I've done this. Let's cut the highs on the kick. Let's add some low mid on the cue ball. Let's pitch down the pool cue. Let's repeat the process for the cue ball. Let's turn down our low end and turn up our low mids. The entire kit sounds like this.
Let's see a type of music we can make using Clash Royale. Let's go ahead and import this sound. <laughs> there are pitches that we can isolate. Let's stretch out the first he, so now we're left with this. <laughs> so now we're just left with the one he. Let's crop the file and set the root key to D sharp. This kind of one makes me get Clash Royale again. <laughs> Haven't played the game in like three years. I heard it went downhill. Let's add some reverb. Now we got an electric guitar. Let's see what type of music we can make using Roblox. Let's import the Roblox death sound. This is just a way higher version of the Minecraft death sound. There's a pitch, so let's go ahead and tune it. The tuned oof sounds like this. Let's stretch the oo, now we get this. Let's crop the file and fade it out. Thank you all for the continued support in this series. This is episode 85, and as usual, if you have a sound you want to try to make music out of, let me know in the comments. Let's crop the file and pitch it down an octave. Let's add a compressor to smoothen out the volume. Let's run it through a bass amp. Let's run it through another compressor, just so nothing clips. Let's add some reverb, and now we got a bass. Let's see what type of music we can make using the emergency alert system. Let's import this sound. Our EQ curve is going to look like this. Let's add a compressor. The breaking up of this sound will make a nice electric guitar. Let's crop the file. Oh, that sounds nice. Let's pitch this down an octave. Let's add an amp. Let's turn the bass down. Let's add some feedback and some more distortion. Let's add another compressor. Add some reverb and here's our electric guitar. Let's see the type of music we can make using my intro. Let's import me. I'm not playing y'all the intro. Y'all have heard it at least 70 times. Let's cut off some of the air. So right here, when I say make, make, I want to stretch that out a little bit. But first of all, I feel like to make an instrument, this is all too low. Because typically, I like my samples higher. Because when you drop them for guitars, basses, that kind of thing, not only does it affect the pitch, it affects the length. Meaning the lower down you go, the longer the note extends. So let's go into our auto-tune software and pitch this up an octave. So this is what I sound like pitched up an octave. Let's see what tough music we can make. Never want to hear that again. So let's stretch out the A and make, and it sounds like this. Let's export the file. Let's pitch it down an octave, and now we're left with this. Let's run it through a distortion plugin. Let's run it through an amp. Let's add some reverb. Now we got an electric guitar. 